Now, several viewers sent our newsroom pictures of a rare weather event that happened overnight. Thousands of snow cylinders popped up in yards across Trumbull County. 27 First News reporter Jeff Love Coolidge found out what caused it. Rodney Linger, along with dozens of other residents in Trumbull County, awoke to an incredible sight this morning in their yards and fields. Thousands of snow sculptures in the shape of paper towel rolls, donuts, and bowling balls that were not there when they went to bed. And I could see the sun shining through them. And I thought, those really look like cylinders. Looks like snow cylinders instead of snowballs or something. They are called snow rollers, so rare most have never seen one. You know, you'd roll them and then you'd turn it and roll it the other way, you know, to try and make it, you know, as round as you could. But this is just something else. Can you see it all right? With your typical snowball, you need her two good hands and some wet packing snow. But with these snow rollers, there are several conditions that are needed. Meteorologist Don Guthrie says everything came together perfectly last night. Around 3 a.m., the temperature rose into the upper 30s. An hour and a half later, it went back down to 25 degrees. The steady wind peeled off that top layer of snow ice mixture and got it rolling. But then what has to happen after that is the next layer down under that frozen layer, that has to have enough moisture in it to be able to pack like you, like you roll a, uh, the beginning of making a snowman. Throw in the broad fields and large yards and you get snow rollers, the perfect distraction from the bitter cold temps. Um, glad that uh, when we have strange cold winters like this, we get something unique to experience, too, besides just the cold. In Cortland, I'm Trumbull County Bureau Chief Jeff Love Coolidge, WKBN 27 First News.